October has arrived. I'm dressed for the occasion. I got my orange on. It's almost time to go trick-or-treating. And as we're going to show you here in a second, the mortgage market has had some tricks and treats lately. So I wanted to skip here to this screen and show you, this is something that I share with clients oftentimes when we're talking about locking in an interest rate or just explaining what's happening with the mortgage market. And this here is just a chart of mortgage-backed securities, okay? And so when we see these green candlestick patterns going in an upward direction, it means that the price of the mortgage bonds is going up and interest rates are coming down. Conversely, when we have the red candle patterns going in a downward direction, it means that the price of the mortgage bonds is going down and rates are going up, which is what we don't want. Now, you can see here, we've had a very noticeable improvement in rates going back from about the middle of July, beginning of July, all the way to about the middle of September in anticipation of the Federal Reserve rate cut. So on September 18th, which was this day right here, the Federal Reserve cut the rates by half a percent. But as I've talked about leading up to this, the market had been anticipating this for a long time. So the mortgage rates improved drastically even before the Fed cut the rates. And then ironically, when the Fed cuts the rates that day, the mortgage rates actually went up a little bit because there was some other news that came out that wasn't quite so bond friendly. And since then, we've seen the, the mortgage bonds gradually drift a little bit lower, interest rates a little bit higher until we come to today. So this far red candle pattern on the far right here shows a big sell-off in the mortgage bond prices. And the reason is because today, the first Friday of the month, is when the jobs report comes out. So it's always the first Friday of the month, and today it came out much stronger than expected. Uh, supposedly 240,000 new jobs created when there were about 148,000 new jobs to be created was the expectation. Additionally, the unemployment rate ticked down from 4.2% to 4.1%. So this was a jobs report that showed strength in the employment sector, and that always puts upward pressure on rates. So, you know, there will be revisions, and we may see that this gets revised worse later on. But there are really two takeaways here that I want to share. Whether it's people who are looking to refinance, maybe consolidating debt, or they purchased a home in the last year and now can refinance to a lower rate for no cost. Believe it or not, we've had uh, just this last month help people reduce their rate for no cost on a refinance who purchased a home in the last year. Or if you're looking to buy, you know somebody's looking to buy, and just trying to you know figure out what that's going to look like when you purchase your home. The rates are still anticipated to go down through the end of the year and into next year, but it's not going to be a straight line down. So we'll have some speed bumps like we had today. So the thing is to just be ready. And when you get to a point where you can, if you're refinancing, uh, reduce your rate on a no-cost loan, go ahead and take that. Because what happens all too often is people see the rates coming down. They want to hold off, hold off, hold off, hope the rates get a little bit better, a little bit better. And then something happens like we've had happen in the last three days where we have a big sell-off in the bond market. So goes back to the old saying, a bird in hand is worth two in the bush. So if you get that opportunity to lock in a lower rate or consolidate some debt, and it's a good affordable rate, I'd say go for it because if and when the rates fall, we'll just be able to refinance into a new no-cost loan later on. Also, when it comes to purchasing, uh, know that the inventory, housing inventory has increased. So that's starting to improve a little bit. That's good. Maybe won't be quite as much uh, competition on the market and maybe not push the prices up quite so much. Um, but with these lower rates, that is starting to bring more buyers back into the market as well. So if you have any questions with anything, have any friends, family, coworkers have questions about purchasing, refinancing, let me know. I'd love to talk to them. Have a great weekend and I'll be in touch.